What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Zava Sound YouTube channel. My name is Donald Odom and thanks for joining me today. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about how to integrate um, ProPresenter 7 and Arena 7 kind of together. Um, it's kind of funny because Arena 7 and ProPresenter 7, they, they sound similar because of the 7. I guess they're both on software version 7. Um, uh, maybe there's some uh, sort of conspiracy between uh, Renewed Vision and Resolume. Uh, you can contact them about that. Uh, anyway, um, we're going to be talking about uh, how I kind of have it set up for my applications. Um, it helps to quickly review how my video system is currently actually set up. This is, I'm only going to tell you what's important here to remember. Um, a few things. We have a return feed from our ATEM switcher. Um, where is that coming in? right here, this miscellaneous return feed. It's actually our program feed um, coming in. I'm sorry, this actually isn't how this is set up. This is coming uh, out of an aux um, from our ATEM. So basically, there's a. what you need to know is that there's an unprocessed um, program feed um, coming in to this Mac. Um, so Resolume can see that. So we can do iMag, basically. Um, Resolume is controlling these three projectors, projector left, center, and right, to build a triple wide image. Um, and also there's a few siphon feeds in between there. That all goes into our video hub and gets processed out. You can kind of pause the video here if you're curious how the system works. And then these are all processed uh, program feeds with lower thirds on them. That's kind of like the final, that, that even has our broadcast mix, excuse me, on it. So you can kind of pause and just get a feel of how we have stuff set up. Uh, ProPresenter is really doing only a few things in this setup. It's sending a graphics feed out to our ATEM, so any videos or full-size slides. It's sending a feed just of lower thirds um, to OBS. I'm sorry, uh, it doesn't look like it's lower thirds because I'm, I'm starting to just build this now. But basically, here... Uh, and I go here, and I go here, and I go there. I click Make Live. Okay, boom. So it's sending this lower third um, version out to OBS. It's sending a full size graphics, um, uh, full size graphics output, full slides videos, out to um, the ATEM. So if we have an opener video here, that opener video will get sent out as a um, just a regular you know, a regular uh, video um, unprocessed for triple wide. And it will also send full slides like this one here, which is a sermon slide out to the ATEM. Now, what's nice about doing this setup is everything in ProPresenter can stay in 1280 by 720 format or 1920 by uh, 1080 format and not even start worrying about triple wide stuff. Now, I still have a triple wide display here because I haven't even bought Resolume yet. I'm just kind of testing it out, but it's pretty much finalized what I'm going to be doing. So um, the four displays we're actually working with is this OBS for lower thirds to OBS via siphon that's on the same computer, a graphics feed, which is hardwired out of the computer to go to the ATEM, a Resolume text feed, which is just just plain old text. Um, excuse me. For some reason, this computer is acting uh, really, really slow today probably because I'm just doing the uh, screen re screen recording at the same time. So if you see I click Resolume Text. This is going to get sent out with an alpha key to Resolume, and then you can put your background in Resolume behind it. And then it's also going to send out basically the same thing that gets sent out hardwired via the graphics feed to the ATEM is also going to get sent out of Resolume uh, or sent out to Resolume. So these are, again, full-size slides. Now I'm going to jump into the... Um, our displays here real quick so I can just show you. Don't even worry about this one. We're not even using that one in this setup. Anyway, our OBS feed getting sent out via Siphon. Our graphics feed getting sent out of a De Decklink Duo 2. Um, a Resolume text feed, which is just the basically an alpha keyed, alpha keyed out or a keyed out version. It gets keyed out in Resolume um, for transparency. Um, so we just have the text on top of whatever we want to put behind it in Resolume. That way, ProPresenter can generate the text for every single display. 
And then we have a full-size Resolume video slash slide siphon. You could actually use the same siphon here, but I've decided to split it out. And that's really about it. So we're using three siphons and one hardwired connection. And then OBS is using other um, outputs on the Decklink card. ProPresenter is also using some outputs on the Decklink cards for stage displays, etc. But really, all we really need to know is that um, ProPresenter is talking to Resolume via siphon. All right. So now if I jump into Resolume, this is probably looking a little intimidating for most of you guys, and that's that's completely fine. Um, you know, we'll I'll show you. We'll work through it. Um, so the first thing you want to know is kind of how I have Resolume set up. And you, if you're not familiar with Resolume, I highly suggest before you watch this video, um, going and getting familiarized with it. Download it. It's free for your computer. Um, uh, it's not the full version, obviously. Every once in a while, the Resolume logo will pop up. You have to pay for the full version. But to just play around with it, it's free. Um, anyway, so basically the way I have it worked out is that... Um, length or horizontally these columns will fire this background and this siphon text from pro presenter and these four one two three four match five six seven and eight so one is five two is six three is seven four is eight and the only difference between this column and this column is that this one has imag on it so if i click this you could see that it says no link there but here, let me just switch, actually, that camera shot. Uh, boom, there we go. So that's actually a live camera shot from in the room, down at the stage uh, in the auditorium. Uh, so you could see we have a 3840 by 720 image, and then we can layer, if we wanted to, iMag on top of that. Now if I click this column, you could see that it's the same background. There's the Resolume logo. It's the same background, but just without the iMag on it. So if I switch back... You can see now the iMag's there. If I switch to one, the iMag's gone. And then two is six, seven, you know what I mean? It just kind of goes along that line. So the way I have it built out is that the ATEM is sending a raw feed without lower thirds in. So you can see left and right. And then you just basically click the column to activate them both at once. Now you have to import your, your um, backgrounds twice, but um, it, it, this is a great setup. So you have four different backgrounds. The first four just are the backgrounds of the siphon text from ProPresenter. And then the last four are matching the first four, except they have the uh, ATEM iMag on it. So you could set this up so siphons on the sides, and or the siphon text is on the sides, and your iMag's in the middle, or however you want to do it. You can also set it up so it produces that image, and you can scale this. You can see I have it scaled down to 80, um, but you could scale this up to 100, and fill that left screen in or whatever. I usually put it at 80 for my purposes in the room. Um, that looks pretty good, but I really don't use, we don't really use iMag, but I'm just kind of playing around with it. Um, so now, if we go into ProPresenter, you could see that this screen is black here, but if I click this slide, I'm sorry, we gotta go to Resolume Text. Um, you can see it now this uh, is gonna get siphoned out to Resolume. So you can see the text there. So if I go ahead and clear this out, the clear, here, let's, uh, let's do it like this. I'm trying to figure out a way that we could see both at once. I didn't really think that through. All right, there we go. So if I clear this out, it'll also clear it out here in Resolume. So you can see I can go through um, once that goes away, the slides left to right or whatever, you can click around in your thing and it will always follow you. And then what's great is that if we go into OBS and I go to the lower thirds, you could see that it'll do it everywhere. So of course, this is only if you're using OBS. Um, and I also have these slides formatted so it just does it straight across the bottom. I can show you guys how to do that in the future video. But you can, you can kind of get the idea. This siphon feed we set up the other day in a, in a different video. So the siphon setup process is the same way, essentially. So um, 
Uh, so you just go refer back to that video. But basically, you can see the siphons that you have will pop up here, and you basically just take it and you drag it into here as a clip, and then you can move that siphon feed around. So this gives you a lot more flexibility than ProPresenter does, but the reliance of ProPresenter is great for the text. So basically, you could send that text to, you know, to lower thirds in OBS from ProPresenter if you do that. I'm sure you could do it in Resolume too, but what's great is the excuse me, the, uh, the ease of use of ProPresenter is just great. So, you know, you could send it out to OBS here in lower thirds format, and then you can send it out to Resolume as full screen text. And then Resolume gives you the flexibility of being able to do, um, you know, this with ease. You know what I mean? Being able to switch backgrounds and do iMag and do a whole bunch of different things is really, really cool. And of course, you can integrate this with, um, if you're not familiar with it, uh, Stream Deck. I'm, I use a Stream Deck, so basically, you can see I'm not going to click anything. Um, but I can clear stuff out first and then trigger um, backgrounds and whatever um, with one button press. And I can do a video on Companion in the future. This is kind of just a brief overview of how I'm using um, ProPresenter and Resolume together. Um, also, I built out these, which I can show you real quick which is pretty cool. So our opening video, uh, which is here, I'll just mute the audio later. One second. Let me just get rid of the audio real quick. Oh, there's a mute button there. All right. So our opening video that's playing here, I'm going to skip forward a bit. Now you can see that it's still getting sent out to our ATEM like this, but it's also getting sent out to Resolume as, you know, a siphon feed. But if you put two siphon feeds together, you can map one on your left screen and one on your right screen. So if I went and cleared this one out, you could see that this is my left siphon. It's the same siphon feed, but once, the, but it's being triggered twice in two separate spots. So if I click this one, you could see that now I can do that. Now what I've also done is done another two, so I can flip this into triple wide mode. So it's the same feed, the same siphon feed. Now one stretched out. Um, this top one, I believe, you could see I, I scaled the width out. So it's scaled out a tiny bit, and also there's another layer behind it that's slightly blurred, but it's the same siphon feed. So things like that are, are pretty cool. Um, and uh, you couldn't really do that in uh, ProPresenter. So now I'm going to go ahead and assign that to the center. Now you can see it's in my center, and I'm using my uh, Stream Deck uh, to do that to show you guys. And then if I go to Opener Video, I have it mapped. There's a Resolume logo. I have that mapped on the side screens. I can also clear everything out, but it's still going to my ATEM. So nothing's going to my projectors, but it's still going to my ATEM, which is pretty cool. And then I can, of course, go clear that out via the Stream Deck as well. Um, we'll do a video on the Stream Deck in the future, um, definitely. So you can kind of see how I have this done. Now, also, another thing that I, I'm doing um, is imagine this was a sermon, and this was your first sermon slide. So it's getting sent out the graphics uh, to the graphics siphon. It's also getting sent out to the Resolume siphon. We don't have that activated here right now. So there's two siphons. One's, again, just text, and one is full screen uh, video. And you can see the ones with the video, that's how um, you know what each one is. So you can see up here kind of the names of them, single trigger. So if you wanted to single trigger something, to go to a certain set of screens, you could do that. ATEM left, center, right, and those are uh, iMag feeds, and you can clear everything out if you have the Stream Deck with one click. Um, and then Opener Video, which isn't exactly formatted correctly, obviously, because um, that's not what we'd be using that for. But if you go to Sermon, um, you could see that it's formatted on the left and the right screen. And then if you go to Sermon 2, I also have the ATEM getting sent into the middle with the left and the right being a uh, siphon feed from ProPresenter. Now, what's pretty cool is that this is duplicated. 
these are the same siphon feeds, just place one on the left, one on the right. So you don't have to send two from ProPresenter. That's really the benefit with Resolume. Now, I'm not going to really discuss the exact setup process. I want you guys to ask the questions in the comments below. Ask me exactly what you have. Uh, ask me the questions you have exactly, and I'll try to answer a few of them in a future video. But this is kind of just an introduction to how to integrate ProPresenter 7 with um, Resolume, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And um, if you did, leave a comment, drop a like, and uh, if you're a patron, head over to patreon.zavasound.com. Ask me any questions over there. If you're not a patron, please sign up. It helps me greatly. I pay for these videos virtually out of pocket. I make very little money from YouTube ad, ad revenue doing these videos, um, but it's something I feel called to do. So, uh, yeah, if you can, head over to patreon.zavasound.com and uh, become a patron. All right, thanks, guys, for watching. My name is, again, Donald Ludum, and I'll see you in the next video.